those peeled off beautifully. So there is one, two, three big ones, and then a smaller one. So like I said, trust me, I'm not going to kill it. I'm going to cut them off right here, and they will grow three feet at least in one year. What I have here is a whole bunch of honeysuckle that I uh, picked last winter and I have it sorted by size. Um, this is the, uh, the thicker of them and then as you go along here it gets thinner and thinner until you get to um, basically these really skinny ones. I need a variety of sizes and I honestly don't have any idea how many I'm going to need. I may have like a whole bunch more than I need or... I'm hoping I have enough. When I'm looking for the honeysuckle, first of all, I'm looking for live. Um, as you can see, that one's growing up in the tree, very much alive. And it's going to have a lot of really nice curves to it. And it's a little bit smaller than my pinky, which is a good size. I have a little bit of a knife here that I cut through. And most of these vines have multiple, multiple vines. Like this one, I cut off three big ones and probably two little ones. So now the fun part I like is starting to unwind it. And you know, you can just about hear that tree saying, thank you. You just start taking one. And just uncoil it. Sometimes you have to uh, separate about three or four of them. But this, yeah, like this one's gonna get hung up right here. So then you gotta stop and go back up. So I'll grab those two little ones. You can see some of the deep scars it left. So you can see these are the, the honeysuckle here and these right here. Now there's also a very hairy one growing right in the middle of it. Yeah, that you don't want. That's either poison oak, poison sumac, whatever it is is poison. So that's what I want to get it down to. You can see it's a uh, kind of greenish yellow but that's where all of the bark is off. So I'll let that dry out and that should turn out um, off white and be perfect. So I assembled the light already. It's a nine candle chandelier. And I have it hanging uh, just in my shop here so I can work on it. It's a matte black finish, which um, I just love that. So it'll give me enough room and enough space to um, look as I'm putting it together to see what makes sense for um, where things should be. Now, some of these I am having to do a little bit of sanding on them, uh, especially these really thick ones. Um, they sometimes still have a little bit of uh, the outside um, covering on it. But, I mean, look at these things. Yeah, I can see why they take over, uh, you know, trees and can make them all distorted. Because they are some heavy buggers. They are pretty, though. So like this one here, um, you can see it still has, you know, depending on um, 
where it is, where it was wrapped around the tree that it was growing on. There's sometimes some leftover pieces of bark, so I will have to sand those off. But um, gosh, look at this thing. <laughs> so pretty. I know, not if you're a tree and it's wrapped around you. All right, so it's imagination time. Um, so my plan is to use these really heavy, thick ones. They would actually be underneath. I'm going to wire them and glue them so they'll be um, in there. And then work my way up with the medium. And then end up with the nice little tiny curls up on the top. <laughs> okay, that's the first row of what's going to end up being a whole lot of rows. I need at least two more between each of these to help fill that in there. But looks like I got a couple left. So here is the first layer. I know it looks like a mess, um, but I wanted to just kind of prop it up so I can see what it looks like. There's two short ones, and then there's a long one, and a long one in the middle, and a long one on the next arm. So it'll all fill in. And like I said, you know, you're looking from the bottom up. So that's what I'm going to be looking at, just to see what's, how I'm filling it in. But I do have to get some wire, and I'm going to drill through each of those, whoops, each of these uh, honeysuckle vines and wire it to the base here, and then probably hot glue it too. All right, I think I'm actually getting somewhere. I was starting to put the next layer on this bottom here and then I realized that I need to get the inside done first because once I start building um, this inside out I'm not gonna be able to get in there put a bunch of really long ones and so they go all the way up to the top there's about five or six and they're all spaced out according to the um, arms on the chandelier now I also did way up on the top there it's gonna be hard to see but you might see that thing curling right there that's a really long vine and right now I just have twine holding this thing up to the ceiling in the garage um, but that'll be chain that'll be black chain so I'm gonna wrap it around there because that's what um, honeysuckle does it wraps around everything and then you can see I followed it down the uh, stem of the lamp. Now all of these branches, once I get them where I want them, they're all going to be sprayed with a flame retardant. I'm not going to put any varnish on them. So they should be good and then I'll get the LED uh, low watt bulbs. Boy, when I was picking that honeysuckle, I thought, oh, this is should be enough for like two or three lamps. I even have some down there yet. Um, but, man, that's taken a lot. A lot more than what I was thinking. And I'm probably a quarter of the way done. So I have my second layer down here. And I also filled in some more in the middle. I have my top done except for some little tiny skinny long ones that I'm going to use. I almost didn't pick these because I thought why would I pick them? What would I ever use them for? Well these are going to um, stick out of the top. I also decided to wrap a vine around each of the uh, lamp arms, chandelier arms I mean. So they each have one wrapped around the lower and wrapped around all the middle ones too. Because that's what they do. They wrap around anything they possibly can. So a little change in plans, but you know, that's what happens when uh, you're not working from any instructions. I'm basically making it up on my own. So I ended up putting all of the skinny ones on the inside here. 
I tried putting them up on the top and they just kept getting tangled up with the big ones and disappeared. So I left them down here so that uh, it filled in that little bit of a gap that I had where I really didn't have anything in it. But I think otherwise that should be it. So I just kind of swirl it around and look for an area that I think could probably use a little extra. And then I just take hot glue and get her glued in the middle there. Next. So I have it in our house here and I have it hanging off of one of the uh, rafters and now you can kind of see the shape a lot better. I think it turned out okay. Yeah, there's always things you do differently. Um, but you know, when you look at the price on these that people are selling like on Etsy, oh, for a thousand, two thousand bucks. Yeah, now I understand why. That was a lot of work. So I guess I'll leave it hanging in here until we get the uh, cabin ready. It's actually just in the living room here. Now, I don't know yet if I'm going to use it over the kitchen table or if I'm going to use it uh, like I have over here, like an entry light. So I'm not sure, but I really don't need to decide right now. Uh, I'm just glad all the lights work. Uh, I did spray it with that high temp ceramic gloss and then these are 25 watt LED bulbs so not much heat coming off of them so I don't think there's much of a fire hazard plus I made sure that I didn't have anything like directly above or around the lights uh, more of the chains gonna hang down I just had to wrap it up there so we're not running into it so from the bottom, that's what it'll look like. I'll probably take a couple of pictures tonight once it's a little bit darker out. And then you can really see. I'd say I like it. Hope you do too.